Welcome to the project demonstration of battery management system along with SOC, SOH. So state of charging and state of health monitoring on LCD screen as well as we are going to upload the so called parameters to the cloud. For the cloud storage purpose we are going to making use ThinkSpeak. So in the ThinkSpeak we are going to store the battery pack 1, pack 2, pack 3 voltages individually and the temperature data along with the total SOC and SOH parameters of this total battery set by using the PIC microcontroller. So here we have interfaced the three batteries through the three voltage sensors to the microcontroller at A1, A2, A3 pins and LM35 temperature sensor at A0 pin and these three relays are used to control the voltage charging to these three batteries. So here uh, battery management system nothing but high voltage, low voltage and high current. So low voltage will be low voltage, high voltage will be measured by this voltage sensors and high current. So whenever the high current is occurred, then the battery total system get heat up. So then this temperature sensor will inform to the microcontroller there will be a high heatage and high current. So then the system will switch on the buzzer to provide the audible alerts and visual alert on the LCD screen. And here uh, whenever the battery is, is low, uh, then the 10 volts, then it's indicated as we need to charge a battery. So then the system will switch on this relays uh, respectively battery 3, this one is the battery 3, battery 2 and battery 1. So here we are using electromagnetic relays which will get a trigger from the microcontroller. Each relay consists of one transistor, one LED indication and one diode. So here the transistor purpose is, so here you can see the black color is the transistor one. So whenever microcontroller want to switch on the relay, then it will provide the trigger pulse to the transistor and the transistor will allow the 12 volts power supply to the relay, means we need to provide the 12 volts supply uh, to the relay to get switched on. When it is getting switched on, it will allow the charging voltage to the battery. So here the whole system driven by the main power supply of 230 volts inputs and to the transformer. The transformer will step down the 230 volts AC to 12 volts AC and that input to this regulated power supply board. So which will convert the initially AC to DC and the next stage smoothing capacitor to remove the pulses from the pulsating DC after the rectifier and 705 regulator which will provide the constant 5 volts power supply. So before regulator will get 12 volts that was given as input to the batteries through the relays and after reg uh, uh, reg regulator so we are going to provide the 5 volts power supply to the motherboard and LCD and Wi-Fi module and buzzer board. So using this ESP8266 Wi-Fi module we are going to upload these parameters totally 6 parameters. So battery pack 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 voltages and temperature data as well as SOC and SOH. So here we are using voltage sensor which is of 10 is to 1 potential divider circuit. So before switching on this main kit, we need to enable the hotspots in your phone. So go to hotspot settings and change the hotspot name to configure that to the project 5025 without any space, without any capital letter and the password should be 129. So check twice before switching on this hotspot. So once we switch on the hotspot along with data, so we need to enable the data also because by using this hotspot and data only the system is going to upload the data to the things peak. So then, right, and then log into the things peak and there we get in our channel battery management system. Click on that. So this is the previous data which we have uploaded previously. So battery pack 1 voltage and battery pack 2 voltage and battery 3 voltage and temperature and degree centigrade and the next one is SOC and SOH. So hold this blue line in if you if you are going to see this one in mobile phone slightly scroll this don't do it faster okay. So now switch on the kit. After enabling the hotspots and log into the things quick speak then switch on the cage. So now you can see the parameters like P1, P2 nothing but battery pack 1, battery pack 2 and P3 nothing but battery pack 3 and here SOC is above 1, 0.0, .0 is there, no? SOC, SOH is the below 1. 
so it will be calculated for every 15 seconds so SOC nothing but state of charging here we are using coulomb counting method so when we switch on the kit so it will start capturing the battery voltage to calculate the SOC and when the time goes on it will keep on uh, monitoring the battery voltages and then in overall battery voltage by initial voltage battery so it will be counted for uh, based on the coulomb counting method and then SOC will be calculated coming to the SOH so it will be coming under the current values so here whenever the current is particular time will be captured initially and then after you keep on uh, calculating the capacity of the battery then it will be calculated in SOH so as of now there is no load we collected so if you switch on this kit for at least of uh, 15 to 10 minutes at least 10 minutes to 15 minutes then the system will discharge automatically and then we can observe the state of health clearly so you can see that so as of now we are getting the data when we click on the dots so there we can see the data temperature along with data and time so now if you want to clear this old data so let us see just I am disconnecting this battery pack 1 just indicating to the microcontroller as battery pack is low voltage whether it is 0 or anything if it is below 10 volts then the system will get switched on so you can see that so the total overall system capacity is going to be SOH and SOC will be comes down and now so here if you want to clear the old data then go to initially go to data import and exports so that we can download the data before erasing that so in that go to download so download that and open so it will be open in excel sheet So there we can see the entry IDs. This is the date and time. How many entries still now happen? And field one nothing but battery pack one, battery pack two, battery pack three voltage and temperature and SOC and SOH parameters still now we have stored in this one. And now you can go to channel settings. Only uh, go to three, uh, these uh, three tabs only. So in that channel settings only do clear channel don't do any other one clear channel right so channel got cleared and next in the private view so reconnect to the battery pack one back So in the private view, so there is no previous data, so the total got erased. So if you scroll it faster, let see with the field 2 is comes up and field 1 it goes down. So you can see this in laptop very clearly. Right, so we got the new data now itself. So in this manner, we are going to upload the BMS data like battery pack voltages along with SOH, oral SOH and oral SOC of this battery pack systems and temperature also. Thank you.